I'm sweaty and hot. 31 degrees. And as Chen has been insisting me to do the coconut scrub, this is the uh, product from the coconut tree. The young coconut tree, when it is dried, as Jen has mentioned this morning, it's got a lot of uses. And now I, Jen, I mentioned to Jen that the coconut shell can be used as a coconut scrub too. So I'm showing you how it's being done. Or perhaps my mother is coming, perhaps she could show it. <laughs> how to demonstrate it and how to do the scrub. And this Come on, one, Lira. Oh, you're going to do both feet at the same and time. This one will make, will make the floor shiny and smooth, you know? Until the floor is shiny, it's really shiny and slippery. And you touch it. I used to do this a lot when I was kid. All of this corner. Like this. 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 You could do this to the okey toki, couldn't you? You put your left leg in. Yeah, left, left leg. Leg. <laughs> anyway. When you finish and then you dust it, yeah? And that, children, is what you do with your coconuts. We've come out to see the sunset. We've missed it, we're not going to make it there in time. But you can see the colour it is. Hopefully we'll catch sunrise in the morning. God help us up again at about half past four. So tired, I want to sleep for a week. Lorna's trying to find her way to the beach. So note the grey sand here. Look, there's oh. a sunset there. I don't know why it's grey, but it's grey. We're almost there. We might just get something. But this is used for salt concrete, the house. Bizarre sand. But yeah, it is a remarkable sunset. How weird to be walking on black sand.
Finally, the sun has set. Last view of the sunset. Absolutely gorgeous. But the whole back is prickly. I'm going to try and bring the van down here tomorrow. But there's little spiky things in my sliders which are really hurting. As I said earlier, Lornia took the sensible option and wore trainers but didn't tell me about this. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, just a bit of broken glass as well. Why do people dump so much trash on the beach? Tomorrow. Yeah, hello, yeah. good evening. We are here in Oringa Barber Center and Chuan is here to have his hair cut done with a special request. So yeah, we'll see how it's going to be later on. <laughs> Look at this. included uh, a trim, a, a massage, alcohol on the sides, talcum powder, trim with the scissors and a, 
complete uh, scrape. scrape down yeah. with a with, with a um, old fashioned traditional blade it was fifty euros. Fifty pesos. Sorry, fifty pesos, and there is currently sixty five to a pound. So it was probably something like about eighty four p. Um, Obviously, I gave her a little bit more than that, but um, yeah, that's what she wanted to charge me, so unbelievable. <laughs> All right, here's the men's club. Yeah, and we're all some friends. That <laughs> All right. Um, what I have always said before I came here is that we see these sort of. Uh, Natural, natural, natural disasters, yeah. typhoons, earthquakes, volcanoes, yeah. whatever. Yeah. We see them on the news, we see them on CNN or Sky yeah. or whatever. World we news. It happens and we sympathise with it, we can't empathise yeah. with yeah. it. And, and we know that everybody sends aid to it. You have no perception of how it how affects life yeah. Yeah. until you come to places like this. Because mm. we love it's what do you call it? Ten to six, maybe quarter to six. And we've come for the sunrise. It's already quite light here. We've been bitten already. Back to the black sands again. Which reminds me of the program Lost, but that's another matter. But yeah, beautiful colour sky this morning and sun coming up behind us by the look of it so we'll just kind of mosey and see what we get other people are already up this morning I'm now trying to take pictures and GoPro at the same time, which is interesting. Just looking at the colour of this sky is incredible. Just an amazing coloured sky. What are to do? Don, Senor, and then in uh, the apartment of Mr. Diaz apartment. So oh. this is what now. Um, but, but, is, you know what? but, but you don't trust them. That is just one thing. That's why when I found them, I can trust them. So yeah, we were a bit disappointed when we went with the white because the house is leaking and there's still a lot of room. We're in a little place this on a Saturday morning. Can you feel it? It's 
I was going to take your word for it. I do not believe it. I will take your word for it. You gotta love footprints in the sand, haven't you? Clearly, this is something being made here because as we're walking along, there's some kind of campsite here with a load of people in tents. Obviously, purpose built, there's a gate in the middle of it. Interesting stuff. So sad to see all this stuff washed up, which is from the last typhoon apparently. We've seen bits of old tyre, people's bags, belongings, clothing, that sort of thing. Not dumped here, just lost here. And it doesn't look like they clear it up or anything, unfortunately. It still amazes me the colour of this sand. Um, yeah, really bizarre. And then you've got this campsite in the middle of it, by the look of it. These may have even been parts of people's houses, rather than flocks and washed up. You said I got hold. I'm being faded away, look. That's what I told you. Already been washed away.